You are listening to the Wear Wag Repeat Podcast, the only show 100% dedicated to highlighting women in all areas of the pet industry. Hi, I'm your host, Tori Mystic. I'm the founder of Wear Wag Repeat. I'm a dog blogger, an influencer, an educator, a podcaster, and now a professor at Point Park University. I'm really excited. I just started last week teaching my first course at Point Park University. It is called Introduction to Multimedia, and I am spending the semester teaching my students all about the history of blogging and social media, how to blog, use WordPress, how to podcast, and how to create a vlog at the end of the semester. They will all present finished blogs that have multimedia elements like podcasts, videos, photos, and writing on them. I'm so excited about this journey, and I'm also really excited because it's giving me a chance to kind of reflect on different things uh, through my blogging journey. It's, It's cool to me to be teaching the history of blogging because I feel like I've lived that history. I started my blog almost 11 years ago, and at that time, I remember doing some blog posts that were just one photo with no words, no captions or anything. That was a trend at the time for some reason, and looking back on that, it's kind of the one of my biggest regrets is that I didn't learn more about SEO and how to optimize my blog posts for keywords and how to get discovered by organic search engines and that kind of stuff. So I'm really excited about this new chapter in my life so that I can teach what I've learned about creating a multimedia brand online to the next generation of online creators. So that's what's been going on with me lately. I also have made some changes to this very podcast here. You get to do that when you're the boss. (laughs) So today I am introducing my new quick tip series. Now, maybe I will come up with a better name for that. If you have a suggestion, please let me know. I love anything that is a dog pun. So if we could come up with like short tails, maybe that's what it will be. (laughs) That was just off the top of my head, but that's that's actually pretty good. So let me know if you have any better ideas than quick tips or short tales. Um, but today for this episode, I want to lean in to my Q1 theme across every area of Wear, Wag, Repeat, and that is money. This quarter in Wear, Wag, Repeat Society, I am focused on helping my members become more profitable, get a better handle on their money, and also find out how they could amplify what money they do give back to animal nonprofits and animal rescues. And so this quarter, I'm also mirroring that theme here on the podcast. I recently released an episode with Kara Conway Love, all about negotiating contracts and how pet content creators are leaving a lot of money on the table, especially when it comes to usage rights. So please go back and check out that interview with Kara. I'm hearing from people that it is my best episode ever and my most helpful episode ever. So if you haven't listened to it yet, please go check it out. My mom actually told me that she listened to the whole thing and was so impressed with like how high level and advanced and insightful it was. She loved listening to the episode, and I was shocked that my mom has ever listened to my episode. (laughs) So mom, if you're listening to this, thank you for listening. I really do appreciate it. And so keeping with that theme of money and profit, I want to just give you a quick tip today. So these quick tip or short tail episodes, whatever we end up calling them, I'm aiming to keep them under 10 minutes, maybe even under five minutes some days if I can get a control uh, over my mouth because I tend to like to talk a lot. But today for our quick tip, I want to share with you a practice that I did last January. I recently found a note in, I think it was in the notes app of my phone, or it might even have been in a physical notebook. Actually, I can't remember (laughs) if I wrote it down by hand or in my phone. You could do either way. 
but I was doing some sort of challenge at the time, and I was writing a list every single day of a money miracle that happened to me. And I did this for 15 days straight. So today is January 17th, the day that this comes out. So I challenge you for the next 14 days, that takes us through the end of January, to write down every day some kind of money miracle that happens to you. Now, let me explain a little bit. This could be as simple as you got to use a coupon and got 10 cents off your toothpaste, (laughs) or it could be that you signed a new $10,000 client, or that you made your last payment on your car lease or something like that. It can be anything that you want to be. It could be that um, you went to the bagel shop and you ordered three bagels, but it was kind of late in the day, so they gave you a fourth one for free. You got a free bagel. That actually happened to me last week, which is what got me thinking about this challenge. So I want you to, for the next 14 days, the rest of January, or keep it going as long as you want, to write down every single day in a physical notebook, on a piece of paper next to your bed, or in your phone, it's really important that you write these down. Every single day, write down one mini money miracle that happens to you, or a major money miracle. Hopefully, you have a lot of those as well. The point of this exercise is so that at the end of this exercise, at the end of the two weeks or whatever it is, you can look back and think, wow, I really do attract money. Money just seems to find me. Money's always coming into my hands and always coming into my life. It's all about shifting your mindset so that you see yourself as a money magnet, Now, I know this is a little bit woo-woo, and it's definitely along the manifesting track, but I really like that kind of stuff. It helps me develop a positive mindset. It helps me develop uh, an abundance mindset so that I realize that good things are constantly happening to me, whether they're 10 cents off or some other kind of bigger thing coming my way. It's all good, and it's really important, I think, to focus on the good. Think about our dogs. They focus on the good. Look how excited they get when you make their dinner, you put their bowl down, or you give them a little treat. They're not thinking, oh, uh, tomorrow my mom's going to leave me for eight hours. Oh my God, what am I going to do? No, they're thinking in the moment, I just got a great little treat. And they're excited and they're thankful for a little treat as much as they are for a big bowl of food or some sort of big special treat that they get. So this is my little mini challenge for you today in this episode uh, to help you start to get in the money manifesting mindset and to realize that you really do attract a lot of money into your life, into your pet business, and that uh, even if you're not really trying, great things can happen to you. So Please write down every day for the next 14 days one little mini money miracle, it's hard to say, that happens to you, and I'd love to hear about it. Reach out to me on Instagram at wearwagrepeat, or better yet, if you're on my email list, reply to any of my emails. I would love to email back and forth with you. That's actually my favorite way to communicate with people in my audience and in the Wear, Wag, Repeat world. I think that email is just so personal. So give me a shout somewhere, um, wherever works for you. I want to hear about your mini money miracles. And at the end of this exercise, I want to hear how it worked for you. Um, Did you feel like you attracted more money into your life because you were thankful and grateful for the little mini miracles that were happening? I think we're going to attract a lot of wealth this month and especially this quarter as we really focus on making more money and being more profitable in our pet businesses. All right, I'm keeping it under 10 minutes for you guys today. So that was our first mini tip or short tail or whatever we're going to call it. Please help me with that, somebody, anybody. I'm wrapping it up for today. Of course, you can always find me on Instagram at wearwagrepeat or online at wearwagrepeat.com. Have a great week.